Wagwan, well, Wagwan, well, what's well, well, great? Chef here, John Morris again, man. And today, I want to do something different for you. I'm going to be making brown stew chicken with little under 10 minutes, right? Alyssa just asked me to come and make some brown stew chicken. And she wants me to do that because I always make it flavorful in such a short time. No marination necessary. And I guarantee you, you'll get that flavorful in less than 10 minutes. So if that is something that you're interested in, having like a busy schedule, but you want some nice Jamaican brown stew, stick around. After the intro, we'll get right into it. We know about sardines, yeah. mackerel, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. Nothing are waste, nothing are dash wet. What you need to do is to have everything prepped, means and plants. That means to have everything in place. Once you have all these things in place, then you're good to go. The first thing you want to do is to put your kettle on to boil that water, right? The second thing is ensure that your pot is hot. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go straight into my pot with about three tablespoons of olive oil. And we use olive oil here because that's the healthier choice. And straight in with your potato. Use yellow potatoes because those ones cook quick. And just cut them into small cubes so they cook even quicker. So in with our potato. And we do this because the potato, I guarantee you, takes longer to cook than your chicken. So while your potato is going, we're going to season up our chicken. Um, five chicken breasts and we dice those um, finely, right? Not too fine, but about cube size of about four by four in, um, centimeters. Chicken is already washed with salt, with vinegar and water, right? Going to go in, two tablespoons of all-purpose seasoning, one teaspoon of that um, onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of browning, and we we'll use that to just give the chicken some nice color on there. Rub that out. Check back on your potato. Make sure they're not sticking, is it? Gonna add a little bit of soya sauce to that. Two teaspoons. Then we're just gonna season that up. So that's literally it for the chicken. Move your potato around. Right? So that's nice and easy. After that now, we're just gonna go in now with our onion. Add my onion, I'm using half of a white onion. So while this is cooking, I'm just gonna wash my hand real quick. So let me transfer this, because my hand has that rawness on there. All right, so the potato is softening up nicely. In here, I have half of a bell pepper, but I use multicolor, so in total, it's half bell pepper. Half of a small carrot, dice. Half of a tomato, dice. A little bit of scotch bonnet pepper for heat, used to your tolerance. And about half teaspoon of our pimento grains. We just crush that slightly. That will give you that authentic Jamaican taste. And then two sprigs of thyme. And we're just gonna go right into that with that vegetable. We're gonna season our vegetable now with soya sauce. We're gonna add two teaspoons of soya sauce to that. Over here I have some oyster sauce and ketchup, which is a tablespoon each. And one teaspoon of crushed garlic. That's in. People love stew chicken, but when they make the stew chicken, it's not flavorful in such a short time. And Alisa always asks me, how do you get your stew and curry to taste so good in such a short time? So you see, the flavor is already in here. Don't add the water as yet. Make sure your water is on a kettle and that's hot, because you need hot water, right? Potato is almost ready. We're gonna go in now with our chicken. And the goal here is to just Brown up the chicken for a few seconds. We're not trying to fry the chicken. You see that? You see, Alice over there is a fan already. 
everything is smelling good. So you see all the heat, because we add the chicken and everything, you know, the temperature went down. What you want to do is to make sure the hot water is going. Turn on the hot water this morning, sir, please. How oh, I'm getting this to cook in less than 10 minutes? Because I'm using chicken breast. Cut them into small cubes. Once you cut them into the small cubes, it will be easier to cook. And cut them into even cubes because that's how you're going to get them cooking at the same time. Don't add the water as yet. And I'm just slightly searing off the chicken because if you ever notice when you cook stew chicken or curry chicken, it has like a little white looking like fat and stuff that's because it didn't sear off the meat and all the fat boil off into your sauce so you're gonna have that sauce looking curdly we don't want that so sear off the chicken a little bit and it also adds flavor that smells so good already all right so the boiling water because if you add cold water it's gonna take a while to boil up so we'll add about one and a half cup of boiling water we're not trying to boil the chicken we're trying to stew it so we're not going to put too much water in there so you see just enough water to come a little bit above the chicken and at this point rub out that little browning that we have right here so i'm going to add about half teaspoon more of my browning take your time you don't want to get this bitter all right that is that and that potato now will thicken your gravy you see me i'm just gonna cover this that's it just cover this and allow it to cook for about seven minutes because about three minutes has passed already since we put in the potato and everything and your chicken breast you're saying seven minutes for chicken chicken doesn't take that long and we put in hot water so everything see it's still bubbling it's up to temp so on medium high heat they're about seven to eight minutes and you have dinner ready for you and your family in a jiffy you get the say? you don't have to wait the entire night and wait until the chicken marinate to get that authentic nice flavor that pimento that's in there is going to give you that flavor see and we season up the vegetables before we added any water so once you season up the vegetable with the soya sauce the oyster sauce the ketchup that gives it that flavor and once this is done we're just going to taste and if it needs anything we add a sprinkle of salt and pepper or a little bit of all-purpose seasoning and we'll go then you see Let will see what's happening in here. Look at that beauty. Just stir that halfway through to ensure that nothing is sticking. Camera is still rolling and it's just 15 minutes on the camera. So you can get your stew chicken once everything is just cut up everything. You're working, you're working on your busy. And even in the quarantine, you're doing stuff and you're busy during the quarantine. After the kids are off the bed, just do the preparations the night before. But when you're doing the sweet, the, the Irish potato, leave it in some water to cover it up so that it doesn't get brown on you, right? It doesn't oxidize in the culinary term. Cut up your onion and tomato, everything, put them in the fridge. Next day you come, boom, stew chicken up and running. And you don't even have to season the chicken the night before. If you have the time, do that. But I'm showing you how to do it without seasoning the chicken beforehand. You saw me season this on camera and it didn't even marinate for two minutes good and i added it to the pot so that's how you get it done real quick and easy and get all of those flavors all of those flavors come in by the technique and the techniques are put that potato in with your olive oil ensure that the potatoes are dry because if the potatoes are wet then you know olive oil and water chaos right once that's done then you let those saute off nicely and once you see them starting to change from that um, bright yellow more to an opaque look then you add in your onions and your vegetables and then shortly after ensure you have a big enough pot you add the chicken sear it off for another minute or two just to seal in the flavor and to prevent it from um, curdling and then you add your one and a half cup of boiling water season up where necessary with a little bit of browning and you set you set and you're good to go stew chicken let me know if you enjoy this segment here because as i said the idea came about because alisa always said can you make some curry chicken 
just last minute. It, so, so the title of this should be last minute stew chicken made delicious without marination in under 15 minutes. That's it. In under 15 minutes, it gets brown stew chicken. No marination time. Last minute settings, very flavorful. And try, try it out. And when you try it out, message me on Instagram at hot underscore chef and tell me how it went. Tell me if you got the flavors from it as though it was marinated. You know who good for that something there? Eh? And you always say to me, mommy, good for cooking our food without marinating, no meat or nothing. And it just come like you have your marinade for a month. So that's it right there. Yeah. Ready again? Dinner ready, you know? Zinea itself. Let me move from cooking brown stew chicken to French. See it there? I watch her. I'm showing her something now. Turn on a little bit. Look at this. Nice color sauce and it's getting even thicker already. This is ready. And we're going to shut that right off. And how you can tell if your chicken is ready, you can use a thermometer at home or you can poke it if it's firm enough, then you know. And the simplest way to do it if you don't have any gadgets, just grab a piece of your chicken and break into it. But in my case, my hand is tough, so don't follow me. See, break into it, and that's ready. And there you go. Let me give that a slight little taste, because I don't know, can't give people food on you, don't know how it tastes. And it's like I cook something when you're allergic to. No seasoning after put in it. No season, see there? Just in time. So quick and easy stew chicken, my people. See there? No cornstarch necessary. And you have a nice, thick gravy. Nice, thick gravy. Beautiful brown stew chicken. Make sure you use chicken breast. If you use chicken thigh, that takes longer to cook. The white meat cooks in less than eight minutes. So that's how we get to cook the chicken so quick. I'm going to be doing this, the curry chicken next, and I'm gonna show you how I get that flavorful as well. So if you enjoyed the segment, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, you see me? And a lot more dishes are coming your way. Dinner is ready. Alice already cooked some white rice, planting and fry, so you know what? We are gonna have a ball. Subscribe to the thing for more awesome videos. We have over 240 now. So subscribe to the thing and build up the community. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, see if travel party gravel. Go and big up on yourself.